The way I see the future is building of the next generation operating room, replacing traditional surgery by non-invasive outpatient procedure. Insitec was established in January 99. The company developed a breakthrough technology that in essence allows to treat human beings without cutting the body. We developed technology and systems that are capable to destroy targets deep inside the body, completely non-invasive. The unique part of Insitec is that all this procedure is being done under real-time monitoring and control of treatment outcome. So the user is capable to change treatment parameters on the fly, not in retrospect, and achieve the desired outcome. The main part of the system is the transducer that transmits the ultrasound waves from this area here. This has thousand elements in it. Each one of them is electronically controlled by a complicated electronic system together with mechanics, software that supports it. Each one of those elements are transmitting the ultrasound waves focusing at the treatment point. The technology allows us to treat almost any tumor inside the body. We started with uterine fibroids. It's a huge problem. About 25% of the women will suffer from significant symptomatic effects. Today, the gold standard is hysterectomy. Patient is going through hysterectomy, then our, she will be hospitalized for a couple of days, let's say it's three to five at the hospital, sent home and will recover weeks it'll take to recover. In our treatment, next day the patient is back to her life, work, family, whatever. It's a dramatic change for the women. Step two was turning into oncology. We selected a specific application which is metastatic bone tumor. It's a palliative treatment. The next one, which is in many ways the holy grail of this technology, is brain treatments. We are treating central nervous system diseases like Parkinson, like essential tremor. We've seen patients that for tens of years suffered from this disease, leaving the table immediately post-treatment with no tremor. We'll definitely look uh, as a next step on brain tumors, prostate cancer, liver tumors, breast cancer, and so on and so on. Eventually, we see it as a next generation operating room, centralized service in the hospital. I've done my first degree in physics and mathematics in Jerusalem, and then I moved to the Technion and done my first engineering degree in electrical engineering and then continued directly into PhD in electro-optics. In parallel, I started working at Rafael. During my days at Rafael, we had a very tight collaboration with a couple of laboratories and researchers uh, at the Technion. And as team, combined team, we worked on a couple of breakthrough programs that in essence, team now, are playing a major role in the defense of Israel. When we started in SciTech, the whole R&D team came from the Technion. I would say I had a hard time to persuade the leaders to interview anyone from any other institute in Israel, to an extreme. It was a Technion-based company, so this is ongoing relations, and I would guess that we are at least 80% from our R&D team is coming from the Technion. The main challenge in developing this narrow brain system was to be able to penetrate the skull, the non-uniform skull, and still get the focal point of the waves in the required spot in the brain. This was never done before by any company, and add to it the idea of having everything MRI guided makes it very complicated, involving so many disciplines and I would say excellency in science and technology. In many ways, uh, the system itself is a Star Trek system because the notion that you could place someone on a table, look at him using MRI 
And then three hours later, this guy is riding his bike back home is something that for, for at least in my generation is still perceived as guys, send me a postcard when this will be ready, okay? Um, in reality, the system exists and doing it today. We have a lot of dreams, unlimited enough of, of uh, amount of dreams, and almost everything you touch, there is a chance to do something different. Think about school. Think about the possibility that this technology will be able to liquefy cloth in the brain really fast within these first three to four and a half hours and get reflow back again to the brain and save the brain. Another different idea is targeted drug delivery. So we could generate significantly higher toxicities at the targeted volume while avoiding or sparing the whole body. So the way I see it and dream about it is doing huge change in medicine and helping millions of people globally.